Conversation. Yeah, that's <laughs> Oh, it's a different whip than you dropped me off in, huh? Same, same, but different. <laughs> I had oh. to save you one. <laughs> oh, they sent him? Yeah. He knacked him? crib mad long ago. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, there's probably, we lost two cribs since then. Wow, <laughs> and it's cold. Got him on ice, baby. What? That's what the cooler was. That's what the cooler was. Alrighty, you ready? Sick. <laughs> Just when you thought T Cap was scooping you up. He managed to get out of it. <laughs> oh my god. Little outside chair. Little super nook. The cribby? It's pretty warm in there every day. Wow. Fancy. Wow. This place is sick. I've been gone so long, you guys got a new crib. Welcome home. Welcome home. Show me around. <laughs> this place is sick. It's kind of sick. It's cool. Look at color lights. And it looks like you had a dog, but we don't. Tina found that for free. Like, and he was like, look at the dog one Some day. Dog. Just <laughs> threw it in the corner. Something's wrong with me big time. <laughs> See the workstation breakfast nook? Yeah. Classic wow. combo. It's hard drives, drone. Oh. Everything else is just in a bucket somewhere in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> we made this the jankiest outside area ever. Board area, sick. Somehow to see the foam. Yep, foam's there. Fire pit still working. The little oh, fucking yeah, so area. Small. The fridge. This is even doper. <laughs> than it ever was. The, well, than, than our alleyway. Our alleyway was terrible. Oh, yeah, for sure. It never went back there. Dude, I'm gonna miss moving this thing for street sweeping every week. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just post up at my little table there, just sipping coffee, waiting for <laughs> homie. You know, let it warm up. Is this good or bad? No, it's all great. It's What's amazing. Up, bro? It's amazing. Full on the real. I grew up in the Bay Area. Sick. All I ever wanted was to go to Tahoe all the time. Sick. So when I finished school, that's where I moved. Nice. Four or five years there? Yeah. Got great at snowboarding. Sick. Was an absolute degenerate. Got to change my life. Right? Nice. Moved to Southern California. Gotta go surf, right? There you that, go. That, that was the whole there thing. There you go, there you go. So I fully switched from snowboarding being all of my life to surfing being like Bro. the resurrection of Bro. me being a great Bro. human being. That's me in a nutshell. Yeah, right and, I, and I, I don't watch every video, yeah, but I yeah. for sure see Maybe. the similarity. The reason I'm like, dude, oh my God, man. The reason I watch and because there's a similarity is like surfing changes your life, man. Like 100%. it absolutely changes your life. And it's done me for the better in so many ways. Same. I was just like going down, Same. whatever heat of shot that was going down and- It just corrects it, bro. It puts you in the good place. It puts like, you in the right spot. It's full heel. And I surf- Good every, energy, I, I surf good every, for you. I surf every gun day. I'm on the north side of the pier every dude, it's day. It's pumping tomorrow, we're I, on it. Dude, it's- well, Where I'm are you surfing? I'm hoping, I gotta work tomorrow and I wanna go watch all the- True, that's five true. Best girls and the five best guys yeah, yeah. in the history of the world. So I could just go bro. and go and go, but it's good I, to see you, dude. Yeah. Thanks for the stoke, the motivation, yeah. the, the, the hype stoke. on surfing, the snowboard resurrection, the transfer, dude. I know all about it right now. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that's why I was like, dude, I'll see this guy one day somewhere. It's the best thing ever. And I and you spent months yeah, yeah, bro. in the months in Indo, dude. It was crazy, it was immense. I love you for that, and I hate you for that. Yes, me too, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. What's your name again? My name's Aaron. Aaron. Okay, yeah, I got it. My name's Aaron. You, bro. You or anybody need a place to stay? Like, can we already take you off on that, bro? I lost you know my house. I'm back in the Forerunner. I'll Keep catch you real, down, man. man. Thanks for the stoke. Thanks for letting me uh, jump on you. Yeah, bro. Let's <laughs> Help. 
but the way it's terrible. It's supposed to be macking right now. Maybe we just got some morning sickness, but we're on it early enough to hopefully be able to secure the dream today. Feels good to wake up in California though. Back in my bed, home sweet home, sleeping next to five gnarly surfboards. Tiny little nook within a nook. And uh, yeah, good morning. It's six o'clock, we gotta go find TCAP. Yesterday, we saw my brother's new cribby, which while I was gone, we moved out of our old house and he moved everything I own into a storage unit and some of my stuff's at his place and some of my stuff is in the Narv and some of my stuff is in TCAP's car because he went to the Narv. So my life is completely scattered right now. You would think that I'd start piecing that together today, but the swell is peaking so we might just shoot right to Baja. I don't even have a hoodie. It's kind of freezing, I don't have pants. All I have is whatever I had coming home from Indo and um, yeah, at some point here, we're gonna have to dial the life in, but for now, Trying to find the dream. We're trying to surf first and <laughs> trying to send it. Quick little refresh on the Forerunner. We got some stuff for the Mexico Cribby. We got all the boards. Cooler back up top. Some cooking stuff. I don't have the bulletproof set up back yet, but we got some supplements, the wetsuits, some more Mexico gear. Couple clothes, nothing really much, and a bed under it all. You guys know the routine here. Tires strapped on proper. Shout out to those six straps, strapino. And time to go link up with the boys and start heading south. Oh, rocket to the neck. We're out of here. Oh. Yeah. Really? Look at this guy, man. What's up, bro? I can't believe you're alive, dude. Me neither. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought I was gonna die. Oh, uh, looks so gnarly. It was. <laughs> what did you say about your back? I was like, they can have this one too if they want it. <laughs> uh, I can just get another one. Why is that? I know. I like to give back to Mexico. Last time me and Banks went to Baja, my whip got broken into, and they stole our backpacks. You know what? It's not gonna happen this time. You know what? If it does. It does. <laughs> if it does, it does. Yeah. How's this? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then a big piece of art. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good art. <laughs> Let's see if TCAP's here. 
Where is this guy? There's no way he's surfing, bro. Dude, this place is sick. <laughs> yeah, we're stoked, bro. Prick your nook. Oh my god, my tripod's right here. I was looking for this. <gasps> TCAP grabbed the tripod and the mud water. This is incredible. I can finally say that I feel like I made it home. I don't know if the back of the Ford Ranger on the East Coast is as homely as the Forerunner, which also isn't as homely as actually having a bed, but we do have something to our names here. We're not just a storage unit. We got the Krivy. Oh, this feels amazing. It's absolutely pumping out front. It's big, and I think TCAP's already out there. We have no filmer, so we're just gonna go send it for the dream right now, but next couple of days, the Baja mission is gonna get heavy. We got Banks, we got TCAP, and um, we're stoked to be back. Wow. Feels good to be home. Hey. Yeah, boys! What's up? Hey, hey. Robert, you done. You want it? Okay, so before you left, I said to you, your life will never be the same. Yeah, this will be the same kind of trip. How you feeling today? Like I never felt before, bro. <laughs> like I never felt before, I never felt this good. Honestly, pretty gnarly out there right now, but 
We have absolutely nothing else to do, and Banks just sent it. I wish I had a gun, though, because these step-ups, the high-performance shortboard step-ups are not enough right now. I know it doesn't seem big, but the waves are huge, and it's not pitching and throwing fat, but there's just so much water and so much power that these pin-downs are gnarlier than anything that I've been dealing with in Indo for the past couple months, and they need to be surfed differently. I need a board that's bigger than a step up. I believe we're calling it a gun, maybe a mini gun, but I feel like a 7.4, maybe 7.6, something with some size and leaders to allow you to get up and then surf differently would be the call, but for now, all we got is the seven foot gravy, and today we are actually going to be getting back the MR, so between those two, we might have a little bit of volume here so we can get whatever we can get done, and we also have this Lost Mayhem, which I've been letting TCAP use for a while, which is, I believe, like a 6.8. So we got some boards, but we don't have the ideal quiver that we're looking for, but we'll get it someday. Apparently seven, eight boards is just not enough right now. But here we go, we're out there, T-cap on the lens, me and Banks in the water, probably swapping out, doing whatever we can with the camera and trying to do justice for how gnarly these waves really are, even though on camera they always look a tenth of the size. Switch. What a guy. Oh my god. Let's go.
go, go, go. Sucks. Yeah. I just wish I could film them, you know. Yeah, decap. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the stoke is absolutely maxing right now. Not only to come home and be able to see my brother and my family and my friends, but to have some of my belongings back and to be in my car and back at my home break and have a bed is just absolutely incredible. Not only that, but to show up and have the waves be pumping, although we did plan for this and that is the reason that we sent it back. It's just nice to secure that and to be here with the homies scoring is the absolute dream. To get back on the health regimen in the next couple days and weeks here is even more of the dream because we put that off for the past couple months just trying to secure life goals and we've accomplished it and now we gotta get back in the swing of things. But I gotta shut this video down by saying we all know that video never does justice of how big and gnarly waves are and you can never actually feel the power through the TV but I can break down something that I've never seen in my entire life before. The seven foot Ben Gravy Foamy the Easy Rider, the Wave Bandit, hog tied itself with the leash on a giant wave that I tried to throw the board over the top and dive under, and it straight up strangled the thing and ripped halfway through the board. Drop a comment if you've ever seen anything like this in your entire life, because I never have, but it took all my might to rip the leash out of the board, and it just seems so crazy, and it does show, and does give some justice to just how gnarly the waves are. If a plastic, rubber leash can actually rip through a four inch thick foam board. Absolutely insane. But thanks to Banks, thanks to TCAP, we actually got some clips to soak you guys out on the waves that we surfed when we got back here. We missed a lot of the good ones, but we did what we could with what we can. And I'm just stoked to share this with you guys. Stoked to be back home and stoked to be back into the swing of the real vlog here. So drop some love, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. We're gonna be having some sick videos coming here soon and we will see you in the next one. For the dream.